Well, I have like 50 scrunchies, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the scrunchie. I know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here with Lucy Lee, right now the clubhouse leader at 10 under after day two at the Dana Open. Lucy, just firing on all cylinders today. What was working so well for you out there? Yeah, I was hitting it really good today, and also yesterday. I just got a few more putts to drop today. Um, I made a few good par saves on the on my back nine, so that really kept uh, the momentum going. You got a couple of awesome birdies there in your first nine holes. Uh, take me through some of the highlights on when you got things started for yourself. Yeah, um, geez, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what my first birdie was. I think it was my third or fourth hole. Just you know, hit a good shot in, made the putt. Kind of the same story with all my birdies. Um, I think probably the best shot of the day was. Um, my last birdie, which was uh, the hybrid into six, um, I hit it to like a foot. That was a really good shot. And also my par save on one after I chunked it from being in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. But I'm glad I was able to save the par there. Those par saves coming down the stretch, I mean, what did they do for your confidence even after a day like that today? Yeah, for sure. You know, I've been working on my short game a lot. So just being able to um, save those pars gives me a lot of confidence in what I'm doing um, just in general. But definitely, you know, being able to go two rounds bogey free, I don't think I've done that in a really, really long time or maybe ever. So um, that's really a good, great confidence booster. Just before we open it up to the major group, uh, this course, Highland Meadows, what is it about it that is suiting so well to your game, you think? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's it's a it, it kind of suits my eye. It's not I wouldn't say it's super narrow, but you have to take good tee shots and um, good shots into the green, and so definitely good for ball striking, and um, I've been able to do that well. You just recently clinched your uh, LPGA Tour card in the Epson Tour. I mean, how much does that kind of free you up to come out here and play like you did today, and like you said, go bogey free uh, for 36? Yeah, for sure. It definitely gives me um, kind of the ability to play free, um, just knowing that I have status next year and kind of focusing on some other goals for me, you know, playing in some more LPGA starts. Um, and stuff like that, so definitely um, gives me a lot of confidence. You're a player that burst onto the scene at a really young age, um, and obviously you're per, per, you know been a professional for a while now. Have you like tried to stay patient and maintain your expectations as you you know you're working your way to the LPGA tour, and now you finally got there? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, I think initially when I first turned pro, I kind of struggled with that staying patient, especially the first year um, being a little bit unlucky with COVID. Um, of slowing me down but you know I think the main thing like the number one thing for me why I'm playing better this year was the ability to kind of just like when you're on the course just kind of forget about everything um, and just play play your golf I mean it's you know a little bit um, tough for me because I was so young but um, someone called me old this week which is <laughs> tough but um, just being able to focus on playing my game and not think about um, the past or the future doesn't really matter when you're out there uh, so that's definitely huge. I mean, kind of along those same lines of being free since you already have your card. I mean, you've, you've already won twice this year. You top 10 last week. Do, do you feel like, you know, being in contention on the weekend, you might be the 36 hole leader, that the nerves won't be as, as much as they might otherwise be? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I've never led an LPJ turn <laughs> event before, so we'll see. It's kind of a new experience. But definitely having those two wins on the Epsom Tour gives me that confidence, knowing that I can play well um, coming down the stretch. And I think it's just really important to – treat every day the same no matter what position you're in um, that's like number one key for me and then what what did I mean you obviously weren't guaranteed this week you played your way in last week did, what were your expectations or goals or whatever coming into this tournament um, yeah you know it was kind of hard to have expectations or goals because it was such a quick turnaround for me I just you know played one practice round I just wanted to play the best that I can you know um, I was looking forward to going home this week, actually, but it's nice to be out here playing on the LPGA and I just um, trying to have a good time. Just one thing about, you know, it has been kind of a crazy schedule for you. I mean, we saw you in Northern Ireland. We saw, as you said, as Kyle said, the top 10 last week. What was last week like for you to go from here to he from go to there to here and still kind of carry the momentum you've been carrying all season? Yeah, for sure. I was really excited to play last week in Canada. It was such a great tournament and a great course, great hospitality so that was one of my goals going into the week was try to top 10 into this event and I was um, happy to just sneak in there um, so I just you know kind of try to keep it going and keep doing what I'm doing what was it like gearing up for a quick what is it like for you to quickly turn and say oh my gosh I gotta play this next week on the LPGA tour once again was it a quick travel schedule was it a quick yes no brainer for you or what kind of went into that decision yeah, it was definitely a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get um, to play as many LPJ starts as I can this year now that I've got my card. 
Um, and so it definitely was an easy decision for me. I just knew that um, I'd have to, number one thing was to be rested. Um, and so, you know, I took Monday off, played 18 on Tuesday, and then uh, just practiced on Wednesday. So I think that's a really key. What kind of resting do you do? Is it just like propping up, watching movies, doing something, taking your kind of aim away from the golf course sometimes? Yeah, rest for me is definitely just, you know, lying on my foam roller or on my back and just watching TV or FaceTiming my brother and cousin. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Is that everything? I think we got everything from everyone. Thank you, Whitney, for your, uh, for you as well. Thank you, Lucy, Thank and you great so job much. today. Thank you.